What's going on guys, Coach Vic here. Welcome to the Mental Month. Process over outcome is the title of today's episode. Focusing on the process over the outcome contains two important factors to lock in on. Number one, you must control what you can control and let go of what you cannot control. This is huge. Number two, focus 80% of your time on today and the steps you must take to arrive at your goal and just 20% of the time on the outcome of where it is you want to be. 80% on the steps you must take and 20% on the outcome that you wish. In the comments below, what must you let go of in order to gain control today? What traps do you fall into that take your focus off of the process in daily domination? The ability to focus on the process over the outcome is an incredibly powerful tool uh, in anything, but especially when it comes to baseball. With the high failure rate, we have a tendency to want to focus on the failure. Many times we will let the outcome dictate how we feel. Okay, so we have a bad game, we feel bad. We have a good game, we feel great. There's no stopping us. So it puts us on this roller coaster of emotions by constantly focusing on the outcome, right? So let's just say we all know that you fail, let's just say 70% of the time, seven out of 10, right? If you are focused on the outcome and when you get a hit, you feel good. And when you don't get a hit, you feel bad. That means 70% of the time you are feeling bad. 70% of the time you are being negative. How do you think that is going to work for you over the long haul? 70% of the time, if you are being negative and focused on the outcome rather than the process. So if you see here, for example, you hit a line drive, and it turns into an out. Guy makes a great play, it's an out. You're bummed that you didn't get a hit, but you're failing to look at the process, that you had a successful process. And if you focus on that, you're more likely to repeat that process again the next time. And if that next at bat, you do repeat the process, you have a much higher rate of that ball falling in and finding a gap. Whereas focusing on the outcome of the previous at bat is more likely to manifest into your future at bats. Something to think about, and that is, your mental minute.